Hi guys, welcome to a dojo video. Um, I'm the hallucinator, you'll know me as the one of the directors for Brave Empire. So I'm just going to talk you through uh, the Eve Mining Fleet .ovh, uh, tool that we use uh, in Brave Empire to manage and track what people are mining within a mining fleet and then evenly or based on various taxes distribute what is taken at, from the op back to the players so it's an easy way to manage payouts so this is your eve mining fleet application it has a couple of tools you can use it can do some reprocessing calculations and do some moon ledger stuff so if you copy paste your moon ledger in there it'll do some nice isk calculations for you but this is just a nice little ad page um, and so really you just log in authenticate your FC account so whichever character you're FCing from is generally the one you want to create the fleet and so this is say we've logged in authenticated you can see some previous fleets of mine here but let's create a new fleet and so here we've got our fleet you can add your alts here um, this is a good idea for both yourself if you're the FC and you have some alts or if members are signing up with multiple characters they should add the alts because then it will calculate um, all your alt, all your characters together as one like lump sum so you don't have to go as the FC and redistribute to a bunch of alts when really you could just give it all to one person so that's a nice little thing so first up you want to set up your fleet, access view of this fleet, always select public. We're brave, we don't need to hide anything from anyone else in the fleet. So this, you have to have the link to, um, to view what's mined in this fleet. This isn't like public free on the internet. It just means that anyone who joins the fleet can see what everyone else has mined and like what the taxes are and all that jazz. So it's quite transparent, best way to do it in my opinion. Um, redistribution. So I generally pick either real mining or redistribute by volume. So real mining, each character mines an amount. The, the application will tax what that person has mined based on the taxes we set up here, which we'll go into, and then redistributes, like gives back what they mined minus those taxes. So they just get what they mined back minus taxes. But this one, redistribute by volume. Say you're mining a bunch of different kinds of ores or like sharp crokite versus normal crokite and stuff like that. This will redistribute everything mined by the fleet to the players. So if you're mining crokite, the guy next to you is mining Jaspit, the dude over on the other side of the Anom's mining Dark Ochre. It doesn't matter. Everyone will get a portion of the crokite, Jaspit, and Dark Ochre if you use redistribute by volume. So I tend to do that. Redistribute by character doesn't exactly work so well. Um, the calculations come out weird, and I think it could be because of the alts. Um, so I'd stick to uh, these, either one of these two. Generally, redistribution by volume is the way to go. Um, you can set your reprocessing efficiency. I just leave it at that because generally where we, you would be refining in null. And that's generally how people are calculating what the worth of their ore is. And so here, so we've got a booster, we've got a hauler, we've got a bridger, we've got other support systems, like maybe we've got protection. This is where you would add taxes so that they get paid, right? So we, we hit add tax. Here we can say, oh, this is our, as you can see, I've got some ones that I've used previously. Oh, our booster, he gets 4% of the take. And then here you, if other people were in the fleet, you would link it to the person who's performing that role. So in this case, we will just link it to me for now. And there you go, 4% for the hallucinator. And so you just add taxes based on whatever support structures you have along for the ride. Now, the most important thing, invitation link. So copy this, put this in your ping. Make sure that people are signed up to your fleet 10 minutes, and I cannot stress this enough, 10 minutes before they start mining. This is an ESI pool. 
Eve only updates their mining ledger every 10 minutes through ESI. So the application will only start registering or mined after the first 10 minutes somebody has signed into this application, right? So make sure that it's in your ping, people, uh, like if it's in your ping, they click on the link, they sign in, generally by the time you're out in the field from form up, it's 10 minutes has elapsed and it's not an issue, right? So just make sure it's in your ping or you get this link out to people early. Um, as, as someone, you just, pretend, if we pretend that we're someone and we authorize, it'll just sign us up. It might break because I'm already in the, there, that's it pretty much. And then you would, if, it, if you weren't FC, you would turn up here as the people in the fleet. Now, I'll just highlight an example fleet. This is one we, uh, I did a while ago now. Um, we bridged in onto some Crokite in Losec. Um, and so we had taxes for logistics. In this case, it was me as I was running hauling. So um, it was a full-time job with two characters. We were smashing through the Crokite. We had a bridger and we had a booster, so everyone got taxed appropriately, or paid appropriately. And here we public redistribute by volume, so everyone got a bit of the, the good stuff and the normal stuff. And here you can see, so Corbin had a bunch of alts, so he mined a bit more than everyone else. James was a bit less because his skills went up to snuff and all that. So you can see exactly what, every, what percentage people have mined and uh, what we owe them. So at the end of the fleet, once all the ore was gathered in one location, I contact, contracted back uh, these amounts to each of the, the people named here. So Corbin got this ore contracted to him. And so as you see, redistribute by volume or real mining, this guy Hughes, who clicked the link but didn't actually uh, mine anything, like he didn't come on the fleet, he doesn't get anything. Where if we had redistribute by character, it sometimes gets a bit weird and people who didn't mine still get um, or, or ISK payout. And so here you can see in more detail where the taxes, like how the payments work. So like I only mined 6.7%, but because we had a tax rate of 15%, this is what I got. And then Corbin had a bunch of alts plus the bridger and so on and so forth. And that brings this video to a close. I highly rate this app. It's really easy to use. Um, and it just makes it easy to FC mining ops with support and have that support pay, like paid for their time, which means everyone mines more efficiently and you can stay out there longer raking in that ISK. In the end, everyone tends to earn more ISK than they would if they were doing it by themselves. That's the end of the video. If you have any questions, you can always contact the Hallucinator on Slack. Thanks.